Hello everyone, welcome to myonlineedu.com's video tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to install XAMPP server into Ubuntu 18.04 operating system. So, so first, you need to visit this website apacheframes.org and this particular website will take you uh, to download the XAMPP server. So as you as you all know that what does uh, you know the AMP stack stands for? It's for Apache, you know, uh, MySQL DB or in this case the MariaDB, uh, and then PHP, and then another P has been added which is Perl, uh, which is a package extension, and X is for the cross uh, platform. So here the XAMPP server can be installed into either a linux based operating system or windows operating system and there is a you know lamp stack lamp which is called linux then apache mysql php or wamp wamp which is on windows apache mysql and php but the bottom line is that uh, all these three amp you know apache mysql or mariadb here mysql database and php are you know clubbed uh, as a package uh, a, you know for a different different platform so x stand for cross platform so how you know you can you can basically download the package so just scroll down and they, here you'll get the latest package so here we are going to download for the xam for the linux so if i click over here and then is it asks me to save this installer file so for the sake of the time, I have downloaded this uh, file already and then in, into this downloads folder. So now let me open the terminal. Okay, so ls l. So uh, this is the file that we have. Okay, so first we need to change the execution mode of this file. As you can see, the, this particular file is not, you know, uh, on an executable mode for my user. So so run this command so now again uh, you know so now you see that it becomes executable from uh, my user now we have to launch the execution installer by running this command you can see the setup wizard has started so click next and yes i don't want to touch anything i want to go ahead with the default yeah, so remember this thing that it will be you know installed into this slash opt slash lamp you know directory so installation has started okay the installation is about to complete now let's wait for a few more time okay so now the the xamp server is you know finished installing so I don't want to launch it now. I just want to finish it. Okay. So if you remember the installation directory, uh, so I need to go over there. Okay. So if I do ls hyphen l, so I'll I'll get a uh, file over here, which is what is called the lamp file. Okay. So this is the file. Okay. So I need to write this command to start the server. So I need to run this command to start the XAMPP server. Okay, so this is the error that you uh, might uh, get. So net stat command not found. Uh, you know, install these net tools. Okay, so running this command sudo apt install net tools. So it's getting installed now. So it got installed. Okay, so now I am running the command to start the XAMPP server. So now you see that all three has started. The Apache is okay, MySQL is okay. Uh, and uh, and uh, and the pro ftpd is also okay 
now to verify that this thing is working so go to localhost and uh, this is the dashboard page of the zam server okay uh, so there is a php info page if you go there so you see that php info is coming so php 7.4.3 is installed here and all this php information you can read from here that's fine so this php info is, is working so now let's see the php my admin so this php my admin is used to connect to your uh, mysql database so here there is some error so i think that we need to uh, configure something uh, on on the on the xamp server so let's let's do that so i'm just stopping this server and then let's stop so the problem is that you know i have install mysql as a standalone application separately and also mysql comes into this particular bundle uh, in this xamp bundle but then there is a both the mysql are trying to run from the same port that is 3306 so that's the problem might be so let's let's see how how you can you know resolve that issue so so you see this uh, manager for Zamp. So let's start this one. So this is the Zamp manager that has opened. Okay. So on this particular uh, uh, particular application, the manager application, you see that everything is, you know, stopped. Correct. So uh, uh, let's go to the MySQL database and let's go to configure. Okay. So you see here the port is three three zero six. So let's change it to 3307 okay so after changing the port let's start all so from here also you can start the XAMPP server okay so either from that command line prompt or from here so anything is okay so now you see everything is working fine okay so let's minimize it okay so now come to localhost again so now come to php my admin so now you see you are able to log in. So remember that you, if, if there is a conflict of MySQL, so if there is a standalone MySQL running on a same port, so you need to change the port in this way. Okay. So now I'll what I'll show you is uh, to connect to this PHP my admin of this one using uh, MySQL Workbench. So let's open the MySQL Workbench. I'll create a new connection over here. Okay. So uh, root is okay. And the port will be 3307 let's so continue anyway and then successfully done so click ok so now i am into continue anyway because now you see here the schemas are you know displayed over here right so on the test you know uh, now you can create your tables so this is how you can connect using mysql workbench so now coming to the fact that uh, you know now you need to basically uh, create your own php application right so how to do that so i'm into this opt uh, slash lamp directory over here so here is the file that is docs correct and there here you what you can do is i'll create a new i'll open a new terminal over here so i'm going into uh, this directory ht docs now i can you know uh, create a directory let's say uh, my online edu okay so over here i'll do an ls now cd moe my online edu now i i can create the index.php file over here so the file got created so now uh writing uh, the php code inside this index.php so that's it let's save it and then coming over here in your in on your browser so now localhost we know that mo is the directory and then index.php i don't need to type it because it will come by default so it's getting access from 
uh, that directory. So this is how uh, in this directory structure, you can you know create your own code, create your own PHP application, also connect to the MySQL database. So I'll have one more uh, video tutorial uh, to showcase how to connect uh, to MySQL uh, database using the MySQL workbench and then how to use that stuff instead of PHP admin if you want. But I also have a video, you can check that how to use the PHP my admin uh, stuff. So please check my channel, how to create databases and you know how to, uh, how to navigate on this PHP my admin. Okay, thank you for watching. If you uh, find uh, this video helpful, please like this video, please share with your friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel to uh, grow, uh, to let us grow. And uh, thank you for watching.